Welcome to, this is called Father Gene's Help Center. It's named after a Jesuit priest who uh, used to be at Marquette that started this ministry of giving free clothing to uh, poor people. So there's nothing in here that we charge for. It's just uh, people come in, they, you can shop. We'll, we'll give you an hour to shop. You can take up to 20 items per person. So if you have a family of four, that'd be 80 items that you'll be able to take home free of charge. Uh, we also make packages for people that can't come in to shop so that they can uh, come and get the whole package and take it home with them later on. One of our main purposes is to help people who have needs to feel good about themselves. They're actually picking the clothing that they want, the colors they want, and the styles that they want. We have a display area out here, which I'll explain to you. The red signs are all masculine clothing, generally speaking. The yellow signs are for ladies. On this other side here is a lot of ladies stuff. <coughs> Blouses, skirts, just. The back wall is all children's clothing. Small sizes starting on the left up to the right. In our specialty room back there, we have shoes, undergarments, and uh, underwear and things like that for people that need that. And we have uh, volunteers out here. We'll have you meet you. Have you meet a couple of them now? Well, Millie right now is setting up uh, stuff in the back. We put it all on hangers. It's well presented, and she'll be putting this then out where there's needs in the area here where people can come in and pick out the particular item of clothing that they want. Okay. Hello, welcome to Father Jean's Help Center. Uh, we are a free clothing closet that strives to provide dignity through free clothing to folks in the greater Milwaukee area. Um, we are delighted to have the Sacred Heart community here with us, especially in this uh, person of Father Frank. Um, he brings such a joyful hospitality to our ministry, which is one of our values that we try to embody, in addition to the values of abundance and compassion and dignity. Um, we've been around for about 50 years serving the Milwaukee community and we are um, glad to have the two different programs where folks can make an appointment to come in and select their own clothing items as well as to receive a personally styled box of clothes based on a wish list. In this area here you'll see uh, pre-packaged uh, uh, amounts of clothing. These are people who have called up and said I need clothing and then on the phone we find the sizes and what the items are that they want. You see these lists are on each of these bags of all the items that are in there. This is our backlog. All this stuff will continue moving forward into the store. For people that can't come in to shop, either they're disabled or whatever, don't have transportation, so they call. We take their order on these sheets, which indicates the uh, sizes and all of that that the people want. and. Uh, we have several of our people that come here for clothing are uh, already in shelters. So an agency representative will come and say, I'm coming from the ABC agency for these five people. So it usually takes us a week to get one of these packages together. Behind me now is the area where uh, these packages are prepared. And this is Miss Connie. Oh, Miss Connie. <laughs> Seminarians from Sacred Heart at our place. She's one of our experts. <laughs> I've almost been here three years and I pack orders. This is where they call in their orders and then they type them up on the computer, run them off, and then we go and pick them up and we pack up the orders. We pull up all the clothing and stuff and pack them. And here's where we pack everything. This is where we start hanging clothes up and things like that and sorting it all out. You can see it's all in carefully marked boxes. And these are our seminarians from Sacred Heart. You want to tell them a little bit about what you do with the guy stuff? Um, we're fortunate to have a lot of people who donate 
so that we really have a quite, as I say, quite a selection of, of clothes to choose, and we try to get the best fit based on the size and width and their age as well. We try to try to match that up as best we can. So um, that's what we do back here. People drop clothes off in the back here and then we bring it in and the pile right now is usually about two or three times that size. But that's stuff that's all got to be processed yet. I work for Project Access Inc. Um, it's always a pleasant experience. I like the remodel that they did. <laughs> I haven't been here since the remodel. Um, but I've always had a pleasant experience and they do, um, they do pretty well with gathering things for our clients. At Father Jeans, we have about 50 volunteers who make regular commitments. Most of our volunteers come about once a week for three hours or so. Our typical hours for volunteering are Monday through Friday from 9 to noon. Um, positions include both front of house and back of house. We have people who are um, helping serve the clients directly and helping with the um, helping serve the clients directly with their shopping as well as helping in the back with sorting clothes and packing the orders uh, for clients to come in and pick up. Hours are generally flexible. I'm usually here in the afternoons till about 4 p.m. So if you wanted to do a back of house position like the sorting or the order packing or helping even with some of the phone calls, we could definitely use your help. Uh, we hope that you'll consider volunteering with us uh, because we will uh, definitely need people who are um, excited and enthusiastic to serve. And I believe that seminarians are that. So thank you for your consideration.